What's up guys, the Elven Girl here and uh, funny story, I wanted to do another Pottermore video for you guys and I wanted to do my Patronus and the wand ceremony because last time we did my Hogwarts house and I did the whole thing, I did the Patronus, I did the wand ceremony, I had two lovely answers and what happened is my cat just stood on the off button on my PC. So my whole recording just went poof! Deleted and it's gone into the wind. So yeah, I just closed my Pottermore account, opened up a new one, which means that you cannot see that I am in Hufflepuff anymore because that's also deleted. But now I can show you my Patronus and the one ceremony again. So it was a bit of a crazy ride but yeah I guess that's what you get when you have a new tiny kitten in your house because I now have two cats and he's adorable, he's tiny but he's also really naughty and he just does things that he's not allowed to do and I have to just walk after him and, and, and stop him from doing stuff all the time. So yeah that's why you cannot see the Hufflepuff thing anymore, but we'll get there again, I hope. I'll try. But for now, let's just do the Patronus and the Wand. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a protection of the very things that the mentor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, the desire to survive. Perfect. Discover your Patronus. Let's begin. And relax, think of your happiest memory. I will try, but I'm not sure which one that is. It's definitely not like two minutes ago. Nope. Sun, wind, rain. Rain. I love the sound of rain when it just ticks onto the roof and you will fall asleep at the sound of rain. I just love that. I also love autumn the most. Salt. Truth be told, when I uh, get some snacks during a moving or something, it's almost always popcorn or chips. Um, play, prowl, preen, play. It's, it's never something sweet or just almost never. So that's why I chose salt. What's that? Incredible. You almost produced a corporeal Patronus. This is excellent magic. Wow. Okay. Free safe. Free free. One more question should do it. That's fast. That's really fast. Comfort advice impress comfort. What? This is it? Okay. Well, let's see what it is. I'm really curious. <laughs> Click, drag and release for your Patronus. It's a beagle! Aw, oh, look at it! Whoa, that's a tiny tail, isn't it? I'm not sure, I'm not that familiar with dogs. I'm more of a cat person, but I love dogs as well. I, If I could, I would have a dog as well. I would love to have a husky, but they requires so much attention and free space and I just don't have both of them because I'm working full time and I'm living in this mice and net apartment so yeah okay oh that that's it I don't get any more information view my patronus 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 okay Okay, so I guess this is it. This is my Patronus. It's a beagle. It's so cute. But looking at the time, I think I can do the wand ceremony as well. And truth be told, this one, it's not the same as I got um, in the previous recording. Because in the previous recording, I got a Manx cat. And I was really excited about that because it was Hufflepuff and a Manx cat. And... That was just perfect. It's just so me. But now all these answers were different. And I did choose according to what I would have chosen. But 
for some reason it's a beagle now instead of a cat, so it's quite weird. But it's not like I'm not happy about it because a beagle is cute as well. But yeah, it's just still a bit sad. Just a tiny bit sad. Uh, let's see the wand ceremony. To ensure we find a perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions honestly. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, short or tall? Well, I'm average height. I'm pretty sure about it. I know all my friends are just extremely tall, but I'm average height. And your eyes, uh, dark brown, brown, hazel, blue, blue, gray. That's it. Was the day on which you were born an even or an odd number? Well, it's an even number because it was the 6th of December. Do you most pride yourself on your kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence or originality? Well, I would say, and I hope others would say that as well about me, but I would say kindness because I always try to be kind towards others. And, well, I know that's not always... Uh, good as well because if you're always kind and you just let people walk over you then they will really do that and I've learned that the hard way but yeah that doesn't ma stop me from trying to be kind still so let's say kindness traveling alone down a deserted road you reach a crossroads do you continue left towards the sea ahead towards the forest or right towards the castle I'm gonna go to the forest because I just that I love the forest. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces or heights? Definitely heights. I don't like isolation as well, but definitely heights. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? An ornate mirror, a dusty bottle, golden key, silver dagger, bound scroll, glittering jewel and a black glove. Well, when I recorded this three minutes ago, I didn't know what to choose because neither of the answers appealed to me. But I went with Silver Dagger, so I'm gonna do that again. And it's nice to see that all these questions remain the same. And this is exactly the same one as I got last time. It's a large wood with a dragon heart string core, 12 and a half inches and slightly yielding flexibility. Let's see what it says. Large. Large is a strong, durable and warm in color. Large has long been valued as an attractive and powerful wand wood. Its reputation for instilling courage and confidence in the user has ensured that demand has always outstripped supply. This much sought after wand is, however, hard to please in a matter of ideal owners and trickier to handle than many imagine. I find that it is always... Uh, wait, what? Oh, I find that it always creates ones of hidden talents and unexpected effects, which likewise describes the master who deserves it. It is often the case that the witch or wizard who belongs to the large wand may never realize the full extent of their considerable talents until paired with it, but that they will then make an exceptional match. Wow, okay, that sounds epic. Dragon. Nice. As a rule, dragon heartstrings produce ones with the most power and which are capable of the most flamboyant spells. Dragon ones tend to learn more quickly than other types. While they can change allegiance if one from their original master, they always bond strongly with the current owner. The dragon one tends to be easiest to turn to the dark arts, though it will not incline that way of its own accord. It is also the most prone of the three cores to accidents, being somewhat temperamental. <laughs> nice. I will try not to chain, not turn to the dark arts or make accidents with it. Although that does sound a bit like me. I'm somewhat clumsy, so yeah, great. <laughs> Twelve and a half inches in length. The following notes on wand length are taken from notes on the subject by Mr. Garrick Ollivander, wand maker. Okay, so this this part, when I try to read this, this is when my computer went... 
are you sure you want to exit the computer you're recording? And I was like, no, I don't want to shut down my computer. Stop it. But yeah, it didn't save the recording and not and it didn't save my mic as well. So it just it went to shit. Anyway, most wands will be in the range of between 9 and 14 inches. While I have sold extremely short ones, 8 inches and under, and very long ones over 15 inches, these are exceptionally rare. In the latter case, a physical peculiarity demanded the excessive wand length. However, abnormally short ones usually select those in whose characters something is lacking, rather than because they are physically undersized. Many small witches and wizards are chosen by longer ones. Okay, so I guess I'm just right in the middle of it, which means this is what my average height question was about, I guess. <laughs> Slightly yielding flexibility. The following notes on wand flexibility are taken from notes on the subject by Mr. Garrick Ollivander, wand maker. Wand flexibility or rigidity denotes the degree of adaptability and willingness to change possessed by the wand and owner pair. Although, again, this factor ought not to be considered separately from the wand wood, core and length, nor of the owner's life experience and style of magic, all of which will combine to make the wand in question unique. Jesus, that was a mouthful. There was just... There was one long sentence. Whoa. How did he come up with this? Why not just, I don't know, phrase it a bit different? But, okay, nice. My wand is slightly yielding. I'm not sure if that's really outstanding or not, but okay, thank you. So, truth be told, I, I really want to check if I can get into my Hufflepuff house again, but I will do that another time and maybe off screen because, well, you already saw uh, the first one and I just, I don't want to disappoint myself and you guys by, by suddenly getting another house. So, it's a beagle. It's this wand, and not sure what this is. Maybe we will we will try this again, uh, also uh, in well the next video. So yeah, I guess that's it for today. I hope you still enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.